guys, what's up? It's Winnie here. Today I'm working with Con Air to bring you this video on how to create your very own at home, easy salon styled blowout. And I have always wanted to do this, but I've never tried it out on myself because I've never known how. So this is going to be my first attempt. So we're going to be learning this together, but I've been watching a ton of different videos and just learning different tips and tricks. So I'm going to show you guys some of the tips that I've learned and hopefully that'll come in handy to you too. First, of course, you're going to need a hair dryer. I'm using the Infinity Pro by Con Air. It's the 3Q styling tool. And aside from this being like really cute in this hot pink color, it's also really lightweight, but there are actually some great functions on here that are going to be important in achieving this salon styled blowout. Here's a close up look at the 3Q hair dryer. And what makes this different is that it actually runs on a brushless motor, if you guys can see inside of here, as opposed to your traditional dryer motors. So it provides a lot more air pressure and essentially you can dry your hair faster with a lot less damage because in turn you're using a lot less heat so it leaves your hair looking and feeling healthier so even though it is compact it still has that professional power in the motor which is exactly what we want to use on our hair and then we have the speed settings at low and high as well as the heat settings at cool warm and hot and then the blue button is the cool shop button which instantly cools down the temperature of your hair dryer and I will be using and talking more about this but this essentially sets your style and this hair dryer did come with some attachments this is the diffuser attachment which creates more texture in your hair and this is the concentrator attachment which just concentrates the airflow of the dryer so it kind of smooths down your hair and I've been seeing people use this one to create the salon style blowout so I'm going to use this one as well today and you're also going to need a round brush of whatever size you choose for your hair and this is kind of a medium size because my hair is not super long and you'll also need some clips to section off your hair to make it easier to blow dry so I just have have some big claw clips and just a long clip here and then of course you're gonna need your hair to be shampooed clean and towel dried I like to let my hair air dry for about 20 minutes before I go in with my hair dryer especially for a blowout style it'll just make it a lot easier on you and it won't take you as long this does have the heat protect technology in it so it has a stronger airflow and you don't have to spend as much time using too much heat on your hair which I love because my hair is already pretty damaged you guys know I color my hair really often and from the bleaching and stuff it's pretty damaged so I like to use as little heat as possible if I can so I'm gonna quickly go and shampoo my hair take out my hair extensions and we will test out my at-home blowout skills okay guys I'm back from washing my hair and it's still pretty damp but I've let it air dry for maybe like 10 minutes now and this is a good time to add in your hair products that you like to use for me I like to use a nourishing oil at my ends because I do have a lot of split ends and breakage I will also use a texture product at my roots to give it a lot of lift and volume and once I have my volumizing product at my roots I just kind of work it in and then I'm just going to separate my hair into sections to make it easier for me to blow dry and I don't have a ton of hair so I'm just going to pull this top section up from my ears and clip it up with a claw clip and then leave this bottom section down and it doesn't have to be perfect or anything it's just to help keep it out of your way for now and this bottom section I'm just splitting right down the middle and turning it into two sections and before I start blow drying I'm gonna make sure that I brush out any tangles that I might have in this small section of hair and that'll make it a lot easier for you to run your round brush through without getting it stuck and tangled if you guys have gotten a round brush stuck in your hair you know what a pain in the butt it is to get it out and it hurts so I don't use round brushes a lot because I guess I've never really learned how to properly use it now after watching a ton of different videos on how to do this I think I have some tips on how to actually use a round brush and the first time I ever used a round brush for some reason I thought you were supposed to like twirl your hair around the whole thing and then dry it like this which is wrong because that's exactly how you get your hair caught in the round brush so you don't want to do that you want to think of it more as a guide and let it just glide through your hair and at the very end it just kind of catches your hair so you can create a little flip if you wanted to that's why it's great that it is a round brush and there's bristles all around it because it does make that part easier and remember also that your hair shouldn't be dripping wet when you do this part it should be about 80 to 90 percent dry I'm just going to tuck the round brush underneath 
this little section here and then I'm going to run the round brush down with my blow dryer on and guide it all the way down to the ends. I'm going to be using it at a low speed setting at warm temperature and I will be setting it down and then like using my hands to reposition the brush again. I wanted that little flip at the end of my hair and before I let go of the section I'm just going to set the style with the cool shot button. So that's what it should look like. Not too bad for my first time. I'm just going to do the same thing to the opposite side and it is a little bit like awkward holding the round brush and hair dryer in your other hand. It takes a little bit of practice but I feel like once I do this a couple more times I'm going to get a little bit better at it. Here's the bottom section and I'm just going to let down a little bit more hair. I'm going to keep the hair at the crown and at the top of my head clipped up for now because this is the area that I want the most volume. So I'm going to blow dry it a little bit differently. I'm going to add a little bit more texturizing product to this part of my hair first. And by the way, you do want to keep the round brush in your dominant hand, and I am right-handed, so I'm going to keep it on my right hand. I always see hairdressers hold their hair dryers like this, and now I know why. It makes it a lot easier to maneuver, especially when you're using a round brush in the other hand. I'm just going to continue around my head. I think I'm finally getting a hang of holding this round brush. I've got this back section to do now, and it's going to be really hard to show you guys what I'm doing back here, so I'm just going to do this really quickly. And also what I've noticed is it's really helpful to have like good tension going on your hair with the round brush. It just gives you a lot more control and you can kind of maneuver the hair how you need it. And when you see me holding the hair dryer up against the round brush like that and I just kind of keep it there for a little bit, that's when I'm doing the cool shot just to make sure that that little flip is set in place. So I'm pretty much done with the bottom section and I'm really liking how it looks so far. It feels really really nice. Now to tackle the top crown section of my hair. This again is where I want the most volume so I'm going to add more volumizing texture spray and I think I'm going to start with the front bang section so I'm just going to take this small section here and pull everything back for now. I'm not sure if I want to wear it to the side or in the middle yet but what I do want is these front pieces to have that like dramatic swoopy flip to it and also if you are going for a ton of volume you want to go the opposite direction of your part. So if you part your hair like this this, you're going to take this section of hair and actually blow dry the opposite direction with the air going this way. Once you have that section set and you brush it back over, it'll have that instant like volume from the hair dryer. So I'm going to blow dry this section going this way first and then I'm going to flip the round brush over the opposite way because I want that flip to go the opposite direction. That's what it looks like after you set it and then you can kind of play around with where you want to go. And I like the way that flip looks, but let me finish off the rest of the sections. And for these top sections, I'm doing them in a horizontal way. And that will give you the volume that you want. And remember to do it in the opposite direction going this way. So this is pretty much what you're left with. And I just have to figure out where I want my part to go. But hopefully you guys can see all of this like volume and body and lift just from the hair dryer. Normally I would have to back home and tease my hair and you guys know I wear hair extensions to add a lot more volume and length but this is just my natural hair just from styling it with the hair dryer and round brush. So for my very first attempt I'm pretty impressed with how it looks. I definitely need some practice with the round brush because like I said it takes some getting used to but I think this is totally doable at home. You guys just watched me do it so if I can do it you can definitely do it. I'm not gonna lie this will probably take some time especially if you've never try to do it on your own. So make sure you do it on a day where you have a ton of time to kill and just sit there and pamper yourself. And I will probably keep practicing too because I am obviously not that great at it yet. But let me know what you think in the comments down below and also let me know if you guys have any other tips you want to share with me because I would love to check that out. So I will have all of the information for the Infinity Pro by Con Air down below for you guys to check out. I'm glad this was not like super heavy and it has a nice long core so I can easily maneuver with it. So thank you to Con Air for sending this along to me and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out my links down below for my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!